Hello there everyone, I'm back again for a final video from God of War 2 on the PS3 collection disc. The reason why this is going to be the last gameplay video for this is because I finished it on Saturday night. And so I will be moving on to God of War 3 very shortly, probably sometime later tonight because I don't work. But also right off the bat I want to give you a spoiler warning because this is going to be a short boss battle with Icarus and something does happen to affect the story plot a little bit so I figured I'd give a spoiler warning so if you don't want something spoiled I turned that down a little bit that sounded like it was a little loud so if you don't want something spoiled if you're planning on playing this and haven't already seen it then I will give you a few minutes here to stop watching. Otherwise, enjoy this context-sensitive battle that goes on between Kratos and Icarus. And also, while I'm giving people a few minutes to turn this off before I start, I am going to give a reply to Bitten Tart on YouTube about her last video blog or at least the last one I watched about gamer girls and how guys look at them well it's something I'm used to because when I was a kid it was actually our mother that got us into video games she's the one that brought home the NES and got us hooked onto Super Mario Brothers and Tetris and games like that and it's just kind of been going from there and over the years I've ran into a lot of girls that have played video games, some of them that are very, very good, that would obviously kick my behind, but otherwise I've, I've always just looked at them as a fellow gamer, I mean, of course they're going to have different interests, just like every gamer has, you know, their differences on what they like and what they enjoy, and I just find it great that they are being accepted and that they are becoming more common because it's something that everyone should enjoy because it's a form of entertainment and we're all entertained by different things whether we're male or female so I I definitely support female gamers and I don't consider it at all to be shameful to get my behind kicked I guess you could say by a female gamer because you know we're we're all gamers at heart at least you know those of us that play video games and I don't think it should really matter if we are male or female but anyways now on to the video now that I've given her a reply because I I told her I would via comment on there just a few minutes ago uh, since she is a fellow Noob Feed member, and I figured I'd give her a shout out. And also, before getting to the game, I would like to give Slevin a shout out, since he is the member of the month over at Noob Feed, and he's been doing a great job getting new users over to the site. And any of you that haven't been over there to check it out, feel free to go over to noobfeed.com and and check it out it's a growing gaming site and it's a good time I find the community there to be great and they are actually the reason why I've been doing these gameplay videos kind of left and right and will continue to to do them on games I play because I seem to be getting good feedback and I will be listening to those that are watching and taking requests for games that I have and any sorts of videos you guys want I don't mind taking the time to do but anyways back to the game this is gonna be a battle a short battle with Icarus and it's of the context sensitive type where you have to follow on-screen prompts and I'm still not the greatest at them, although I have gotten used to the camera angle, and as you can see, which is why I had him positioned where he was, it's a very good looking game, even though it was a, originally a PS2 title, 
They did a great job redoing the graphics on the game, and they look even more amazing on HD. Unfortunately, these aren't HD, so... But, as you can see, it's a very good-looking game. But before I run out of my 10-minute time limit, I will go ahead and show you the fight with Icarus. And there I go, I have his pretty wings. Wasn't very nice of him, but you know. You gotta do what you gotta do when you're trying to stay alive. And of course that big beast there is Atlas. He's a titan. Which those of you that know anything about the game should figure out from his massive size. And there's Kratos flying down with his newly acquired wings. Unfortunately, all you can do is glide with them. You can't really fly too far, but it does help getting over some larger distances. And is definitely a very handy tool to have. <coughs> and as you can see there, I have stolen Icarus's wings to try to get to the Sisters of Fate. The Sisters Temple is far above Kratos. You must get back to the surface. And as you heard there, I'll have to get back to the surface, but I'm going to wrap this up now. So thank you for those of you that watched this, and I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for future videos. And as I said earlier, if you get a chance to, stop by newfeed.com or feel free to leave me some comments and let me know what you think, or maybe give some requests for future videos. Have a great night, everyone.